I'm Eric Mazur. I'm a professor of physics and applied physics at Harvard University. A few years ago, I was boarding a flight in New York. And as I sat down in my seat, I found myself next to a young woman who had just graduated from the University of Chicago. And we started chatting. And she told me she was working for a cloud-based education company. I just founded my own cloud-based education company, Learning Catalytics, so I thought I better find out what she's doing. It turned out that her company was making flashcards for smartphones. I had trouble not rolling my eyes because I don't place a high value on memorization. I managed to, to stay polite, however. Earlier that week, I had attended a talk by Rudy Roedinger at um, Washington University. Rudy Roedinger studies memory and studies retention from studying with flashcard. And in his talk, he had shown data that shows that if you study with flashcards, you remember quite well for two or three days. But if you study students who have studied with flashcards and look at how much they retain a week after studying with flashcards, you find that they remember only 35%. After two weeks, that further degrades to levels that are barely measurable. I thought she should know that. So I grabbed my iPad, pulled up the article by Rudy Reitinger, and handed her my iPad. She looked at it for no more than 10 seconds and then handed me back my iPad. And she looked me right in the eyes and she said, but we only guarantee that they will pass the test. I never thought about it that way. And suddenly, it became clear to me that it is actually the assessment that is driving student study habits, not the approach to teaching. I'd been spending all of my career really thinking about the approach to teaching without giving enough importance to revising our approaches to assessment. So I'd like to end here by saying that we really need to rethink our approach to assessment. Because if we don't rethink our approaches to assessment, we will continue to educate the followers of yesterday rather than the leaders of tomorrow. And also, because the assessment generally does not reflect real world tasks, the type of environment and the type of task that our students are going to encounter in their future lives, unless we rethink our assessment, our assessment will continue to fail to indicate who is really going to be successful in life and who is not. Mm -hmm.